my honest opinion on a fourth stimulus check in 2022 for the low income and fixed income. Let's get right into it. But if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as all of this information continues to change very, very rapidly right now. I'm watching everything and doing all the research. I distill all that information down into these short videos, which I deliver a few times each and every day so that you can get the latest updates hot off the wire as they're being released. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any updates going forward during this very, very busy time. All right, let's get right into the video. All right, so the all important question is going to be answered in this video. In fact, I've seen this showing up down in the comments section a number of times over the last several months and realistically, most recently over the last several days, last few weeks and last few months here. It's been coming up a lot. Many of you reaching out in the comments section wondering, is there going to be a fourth stimulus check in 2022? Are we going to be getting some type of additional relief in 2022? I'm struggling, prices are going up, and my money is not going as far these days. So I do want to answer this question for you in this, uh, in this video based on all the research that I do and everything that I foresee coming this year. Um, so I want to lay it out for you in this video. Now, full disclaimer, I do not have a crystal ball, okay? So of course, I have no clue what's going to come this year, but based on all the research that I do, I do wanna lay it out for you in this video and let you know kind of what I am thinking. Even though I don't have a crystal ball, I do have a crystal cupcake. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> all right, sorry. If the crystal cupcake doesn't cut it, how about a crystal hedgehog? Does that do it for you? All right, sorry. I'm not funny. Anyway, I was really excited to do that. My my wife has these things around the house as a decoration, and I was like, hey, can I use your crystal thingies? And she's like, okay, whatever. So anyway, sorry. I know I'm not funny, but <laughs> I thought it might be kind of funny. Um, so anyway, let's get into it and talk about uh, a fourth stimulus check in 2022 and discuss where we currently stand. Now, one more thing that we need to recognize as well, there is a lot going on this year. We need to look at the full picture rather than just looking at it from just a stimulus check standpoint, as in, is there gonna be a check or no? Let's look at the whole picture as far as everything going on this year. This year is a very busy year. In fact, right now alone, there's a lot going on, right? So we've gotta look at everything going on. First off, we all recognize the obvious. Inflation is through the roof right now. We also know the midterm elections are coming up. We also know that uh, Congress has not really gotten a whole lot done as of about the last year or so, right? It's been a very long time since Congress has done absolutely anything. We also do recognize, based on the most recent reports and the information that we're finding out there, Democrats are looking for anything to win right now to get some approval by the American people. And again, this is not me taking sides. I'm simply telling you what is going on out there because they want to maintain control with the midterm elections coming up a little bit later this year, right? So we do know all of this is going on right now. We do know that there's this great divide in this country. Some people are doing very, very well. Meanwhile, on the other side of the spectrum, the lower income and the fixed income are really, really struggling because of this inflation situation. We also do know, based on recent reports as well, from all of the previous stimulus package, about $6.1 trillion that was previously approved, there's still about $800 billion sitting on the books that has not been spent. Now again, it could be more, it could be less, but roughly based on the reports that we've been finding, we recognize there's about $800 billion still sitting there waiting to be used for something, whatever they decide to do, right? So we also do know that there's a couple petitions out there right now. The one calling on a $2,000 stimulus check plus monthly recurring payments. We also do know that there's the other petition and the work out of the Senior Citizens League calling on Congress to approve a one-time $1,400 stimulus check as well for the low income, or I should say the fixed income, social security, SSDI, retirement, survivors, SSI, all of these beneficiaries, right? So we do know all of this. Now, at the same time, we do know that about a year ago, there was over 80 members of Congress who reached out to the president with their letters calling on the president to approve a $2,000 stimulus check plus monthly recurring payments. Now, I get it. That was a year ago, roughly about a year ago. But the simple fact of the matter is 
there's about 80 members of Congress out there who are very much in favor of $2,000 stimulus check plus monthly recurring payments. So this is what we do recognize right now. Now, also on a global scale, we also recognize what's kind of going around, uh, going on around the world right now, right? Kind of some scary things with everything out there right now. So we also recognize everything uh, going on out there as well. We also do understand when it comes to the stock market, it's been very volatile lately and we recognize that when it comes to the market, if it happens to roll over and go down 10, 15, 20, 30, 50%, something like that, they're gonna come in with their bulldozers and start plowing cash into the system once again. That's what they have to do and they do it every single time. They call it a fancy name called quantitative easing, but it's literally printing money and piling it into the system. How do they do that? They give it to the people and they have us go out and spend it to stimulate the economy, right? Happens every time. So anyway, these are some of the things that are happening out there right now. Again, I could keep going on and on and on, report after report, survey after survey, talking about how the low income and the fixed income are really struggling right now. In fact, if you've been watching the videos for any length of time now, you know about this because I come back uh, all the time, right? A few times each and every week with all these new reports that are coming out showing the low income, the fixed income are just getting crushed right now with this inflation. So all of this being said, let's lay it all out now. Let's talk about, in my honest opinion, do I think there's going to be a fourth stimulus check in 2022? Here's what it comes down to. Based on all of this information, I do still believe there will be something. However, I'm gonna throw this out there. I don't think it's gonna be called a stimulus check. Just being real with you right now. Now again, what is it going to be called? I don't know. I really don't know what the new name could be. I do think there will be some type of payment to uh, the people, um, whether it's a stimulus check, whether it's called a, I don't know, anti-inflationary payment, whether it's called a, I have no clue. Seriously, it could be named anything. They could come up with any names. I'm honestly just kind of throwing some stuff out there because I have no clue what it may be. But my point is, I do honestly believe that there will still be some type of payment, whether it's a one-time payment, some type of relief payment, a uh, survival check. Honestly, whatever they want to name it, it doesn't really uh, matter. As I've mentioned in previous videos, who really cares what the name is? It doesn't matter at all. It's all about the digits and the numbers in our bank account other than zero, right? That's what matters right now. So when it comes down to it, I do think there will be a payment, whether it comes in in the form of a one-time lump sum payment or whether it is uh, monthly payments similar to the child tax credit payments. I do think there will be some type of payment. Now, again, I'm not really sure how it's going to be distributed. I don't know all the details about it, but based on everything that I just went through right there, and ultimately, I do think one of the major factors is the midterm election coming up. Here's the deal. And again, I'm not here to take political sides. I'm simply telling you, this is the fact of the matter. We see it happen all the time with all the parties, right? We see it all the time. They want to do whatever they can to get you know, either elected, stay in power, um, get power, whatever. Again, they all do it. But essentially, we know that the midterm elections are coming up. Democrats are desperately looking for a win going forward. They pretty much haven't gotten anything done here since the last stimulus package about a year ago, the American Rescue Plan that had the $1,400 checks within it. So they are looking for a, uh, a huge win here. In fact, that's not even me saying that. They've been saying it. We've been talking about this for a couple months now. Democrats have been coming out saying, hey guys, we got to get a win here. We don't really care what it is. We need to get a win. We need to show the American people that we can produce something for them. They know it and we know it. It's it's been public. They've, they've made it very clear here for a few months now. We need to get a win, guys. We've got to get something done here. So my simple point is one more thing too that they're also working on. They're working very diligently or I don't know if diligently is really the right word. They're working on it to reinstate those child tax credit payments. We also do understand that they've also tried to implement this adult tax credit, or I should say there's been some discussion about an adult tax credit. Again, maybe like we've talked about in previous videos, and this would actually be a really good thing, is maybe ongoing monthly payments for the child tax credit payments, and maybe they institute an adult tax credit, which would be distributed on a monthly basis, just like the child tax credit payments. Again, just throwing some different ideas out there and some different ideas that may be coming as a result of what Congress is trying to do. They're trying to juggle a lot of different things right now, and it seems like they're just trying to figure out one thing that they can all unanimously agree on, or at least not even unanimously, just the vast majority of them agree on to get something done. So there's many different options here. When it comes to a stimulus check, like I said, I don't really think it's going to be called a stimulus check simply because the 
basis behind the stimulus check in 2020 and 2021 was to stimulate the economy. At this point, we don't really need to stimulate the economy anymore, right? It's not about the economy being stimulated anymore. It's more about like a relief payment is what it's coming down to now. So it's not so much about stimulation, of the economy, I should say. <laughs> it's more about uh, relief for the American people who are struggling and who are low income and fixed income. It's all about relief at this point, not stimulating, right? So I hope that kind of makes sense. But in my honest opinion, again, based on everything that I'm laying out right now, based on everything that I'm looking at, that of all the moving parts that are going on around this country, around the world, everything that's going on out there right now, I do still think there is a high likelihood of something. And maybe they do something like what the Senior Citizens League actually introduced um, late in 2021, was that petition calling on a highly focused check for the low income and the fixed income um, of all those beneficiaries, Social Security, retirement, SSDI, survivors, SSI, and get that $1,400 focused check. Again, I wouldn't put it past them on that one either. It would not be the first time that they've done that. And that is also an other, another option that I could also foresee happening is maybe they look at the situation as in they being Congress, they look at the situation and say, okay, the vast majority of Americans are totally fine right now, but there's this section of about 50 million uh, fixed income beneficiaries, maybe 100 million. Honestly, I'm not really sure what the total calculation would be as far as number of people that would need it, but maybe they look at them and say, okay, we know it. We understand the fixed income are really getting crushed right now because of this inflation. Let's issue this focused fourth stimulus check or relief payment is probably what they would call it or who knows what they'd call it, honestly, um, and send it out to the fixed income. Again, I foresee something like that being highly, highly likely. But again, I don't have a crystal ball. I just have a crystal thingy, Bobber. What's this called? Oh yeah, porcupine and a cupcake. I mean, they're not a crystal ball, but at the end of the day, they're crystal something. And maybe they give, give me a little bit of insight into the world of what's coming in the future, right? So again, I hope this lays it out for you. But if, remember, I'm here for you. I'm doing all the research, trying to find anything I possibly can um, to help you out in any way that I can. Again, I'll be right here by your side with those details each and every day. So again, if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe down below, share the video with your friends, family, social media, go back and check out any of the other 2,200 videos right here on the channel. And again, I'll be here for you each and every day with the latest updates so that you can stay tuned with everything going on. And ultimately, I'm doing all the research. I'm trying to find anything and, and reaching out to Congress with these letters that I send out to them every so often. Seriously, it's only a matter of time until finally they do something based on all these letters and communications that we've sent over to them. Um, it's only a matter of time until they finally do something, right? So again, please remember, I'm here for you. Enjoy your day. And I hope this one helps you out. And I hope it answers a little bit more clearly some of my thoughts as far as what is actually going on out there in regards to a fourth stimulus check, or let's just call it a fourth relief payment or whatever they wanna name it, right? So anyway, hope this helps you. Again, enjoy your day, subscribe, and I will see you again in the next video. I'll see you for now, see ya.